Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Intel Network Builders is celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Winners Circle Awards, which are designed to drive deeper technical enablement within the ecosystem. And joining me on the programme today to explain more and also to give us a preview of what's in store for 2023 is Keith Despain, Director of the Intel Network Builders programme. Hello, Keith. Very good to see you again. Now, before we talk about the Winner's Circle, can you first give us a brief overview of the Intel Network Builders program? Hello, Guy. Yes, it's good to see you again. I love to talk about the Intel Network Builders program. This program has been uh, supported and driven with our partners and Intel for the last nine years. This program is built together to address the needs of the communications industry with a specific focus on networking technologies. The capabilities that we help drive with our now almost 570 plus partners uh, make it possible for us to deliver new technology in a way that addresses the concerns and the needs of the comm service providers. This is driven across with our technology leadership and the platforms that we have at Intel that help move the industry into open standards and what we are continuing to drive is a software driven network built on great infrastructure and platforms on Intel technology. We continue to drive and work closely with our standards bodies that bring open, open source capabilities and open software into the industry that creates innovation at a speed that continues to accelerate. As part of the program, members and partners have the opportunity to work closely with us on this technology, the open standards, but then also the promotion and pushing into the market the needs to change, the needs to drive these networks forwards. Working with our partners, they have many roles, everything from delivering software, hardware, middleware, solutions, applications, system integrators. We invite them all to come and see the program and work closely with us. It can be found at networkbuilders.intel.com. And we also work closely then with our end users. Those end users are the ones that help drive what are the needs that this network ecosystem program can deliver. And we continue to be and to continue to grow and invest as the industry expands into new and exciting areas. Well, Keith, it's a, it's a terrific program um, and well proven. And as you've alluded to there, we are going to focus on the Winners Circle Awards. So can you tell us more about these awards and also why Intel Network Builders has launched this program? So we, we learned five years ago that um, many of our partners are, are going above and beyond. They're doing things with us that uh, no one else is doing. And we wanted to be able to call that out. We wanted to be able to recognize these partners who are working closely with Intel to change the network infrastructure, to drive that transformation that is needed in the industry at that time and continuing to go forward. Certainly, we've gone through a journey of network function virtualization and now we're looking at what are those cloud native technologies that will continue to allow us to bring innovative, sustainable, and secure capabilities into the network. And so we started the awards program called the Winner's Circle to recognize those. And we have three different tiers. Those tiers are titanium, gold, and members. And the program is really to help us understand which partners we're working with that can help drive and move the industry and bring about these innovative technologies. It's on Intel innovative uh, hardware and software that's provided by Intel. It's looking for open and flexible solutions, working across many of the partners found within the Network Builders program. And of course, staying on the leading edge of technology to make sure that we are bringing and addressing those needs of the comm service providers with this program. Well, Kate, let's talk further about that innovation. What can you tell us about the technical innovation you're seeing in the industry as ecosystem partners submit their solutions for the awards? Well, we continue to see the move towards uh, software driven solutions into the marketplace built on Intel leading edge technology and platforms that we have. Now, this has gone through that journey that we mentioned a little bit earlier around network function virtualization and now cloud native, but this is where the innovative capabilities of companies are coming together to deliver these solutions that address the, the needs of the total cost of ownership, uh, what is their return on that investment that the comp fighters can expect, the sustainability targets that they have. 
And finally, the opportunity to continue to be forward-looking and almost future-proof so that they can see and understand how do I bring in more partners that are driven and using an open standards-based solutions with innovative software capabilities. That continues to be what is really driving the bulk of the industry. The other ones that we're seeing, of course, is the distributed edge. We spend a lot of time understanding, driving, and determining how do we continue to deliver to the vision of the distributed edge. It's a challenge, and it's one that is completely different than what we've seen in the past, but one that we feel with our ecosystem partners, we can embrace and continue to drive. It's in its early phases, but it is really growing quickly, and the needs that are being met by our capabilities of the comm service providers continue to advance this forward. The edge will continue to be a strong focus area and a opportunity for the networking capabilities that are built on Intel technology. Well, Kate, Intel's been stressing the concept of software driving infrastructures. How do you see that continuing to drive network transformation? Well, we, we see that with open standards and the opportunity to use an open platform, that when it comes to software, it's infinite in its capabilities to address new problems and new solutions. And so as we develop and drive our roadmap that is built not only on the silicon that is well known in the industry now, but also on the software capabilities that unleash the acceleration engines that could be found in it, the ability to save power by turning off cores and turning them on as needed, the ability to then be creative with that software to address the needs of not only security that continues to be on the minds of every of our comm service providers, but also sustainability, and then those new use cases that have yet to be defined. And so software driven gives them that flexibility to do something today and look towards the future without having to really look at restructuring the underlying platforms. And Keith, for the awarded partners, what can they expect to see from Intel in 2023 as you deepen your collaborations? Well, we, we expect to continue to, to work very closely with them on new technology. Intel will be launching our fourth generation Xeon processor in the early parts of 2023. And we have been working with partners in the early stages to get them enabled and driving that great platform into the market as quickly as possible. Next, we will continue to work with them on what are they doing in their software that needs more from Intel? How do we help them to make sure that their software unleashes the capability of not only Intel platforms, but also their offerings into the market? And third, we continue to do things like being at the events to promote, to drive, to, to move this market towards a software-driven capabilities that allows more software vendors, independent software vendors, uh, system integrators, and many others to get involved and help drive this market forward in a way that will lower costs for the end users, but also deliver a great return for our com comm service providers who are using this technology. Thank you, Keith. We must leave our conversation there, but before we go, would you like to say a few words about the 2023 Winners Circle Partners? Yes, thank you, Guy. The, our partners that we're recognizing have been working with us for many years. Some are new, but many have been there for quite some time. Our titanium partners are the ones that we are working with on a regular basis and continue to move the industry. We are so excited for their award and look forward to in 2023 working closely with them as we deliver solutions that take advantage of leading edge technology, as we promote that together into the industry around the open standards and with our end user customers together. Our gold partners, we are excited as well and appreciate the effort that they're doing and driving into the marketplace. These partners continue to be innovative. You'll see many of them on delivering edge solutions as it's a key focus. And we continue to drive in the areas of video, in the areas of um, performance that will change the market and deliver new solutions. Thank you to our gold partners. And finally, our members. Our member partners, thank you for applying to the winner's circle. We look forward to continuing to work with you. These partners are innovative in key niche areas, 
but also growing in their understanding of software-defined networking and how that is enabling and driving the market. We appreciate their support. We continue to look forward to working closely with all of our Winner's Circle uh, members, as well as the Intel Network Builders partners around the world. It is truly going to be an exciting year in 2023. We have some challenges, but with challenges come opportunity to innovate, and we look forward to doing that with you together. For more information on the Intel Network Builders program and the Winner's Circle Awards, just follow the links here on the website. For now, though, from Keith and myself, thanks for watching and goodbye.